gonna sing some tunes that are sure to please. So while they're in the kitchen tossing pizza dough, you can sing along and join the show. As a kid, the place you wanted to have every single birthday was called Chuck E. Cheese, a restaurant that featured a litany of games, pizza, and an animatronic band of colorful characters. Chuck E. Cheese was the one place that every single child wanted to visit. I can't begin to tell you how many birthdays I celebrated at this mouse's glorious kingdom of fun and festivities. And I can vividly recall yanking strings of tickets out of the arcade machines and handing them into the front desk for prizes. I look back at my time at Chuck E. Cheese fondly, only because at that time, there was nothing else like it. And there never would be again. Now, honestly, while I like to be thorough and give you as much history as possible, the fact remains that there's simply way too much to be said regarding the origins of the franchise itself, between the takeover of Showbiz Pizza and the Rock of Fire Explosion animatronic band. So, if you're actually interested, and you should be, because it's quite fascinating, I highly suggest that you go and read or watch content related to this matter. As I said, I always want to give as much context and backstory as possible, but frankly, there's simply just not enough time to go over all of that, and this isn't a series about franchises, it's a series about mascots. So with that in mind, I will be focusing solely on the character of Chuck E. Cheese. Good Old Chuck Boy was created in 1977 by Nolan Bushnell, who also created the franchise and the Atari company. He was a pretty prolific dude. Chuck, whose full name is, and no, I'm not kidding, Charles Entertainment Cheese, God, and you thought your name got you bullied, is full of surprises. According to an article from Insider, he's an orphan, and he celebrates the birthdays of other children because he never knew when his own was. I really recommend reading the Insider article because it's fascinatingly dark for a mascot creation. I mean, these people didn't just create a character to sell their franchise with. No, they created an entire life story for said character. One that, frankly, I'm not sure was ever even known to the children who attended his palace of pizza. Still, I appreciate the showmanship, so good job, guys. Chuck was presented in numerous ways across his lifespan, of which I should clarify is still ongoing. Technically, he's not so much a dead mascot as much as he is a mascot left in a retirement home forgotten by his children. He's existed in a variety of forms, animated, animatronic, full body suit. In fact, I don't think I'd be too often saying it's highly likely that the walk around characters for Chuck E. Cheese just may have been a tiny bit responsible for turning people into furries as adults. I don't know. Frankly, I don't want to know. They also, in addition to his popularity, started making films for him to star in, one of which was titled Chuck E. Cheese in the Galaxy 5000. This is Dr. Zoom's warehouse. 
Thanks for bringing me. Well, you wanted to see it. Yeah, it's a great place. We use it as a gymnasium. Yeah, and as a bachelor pad. Yeah. Ooh, groovy. She takes it off. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I know you guys are really, really strong. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, you're like the most buffed out guys I know. Of course, and smart too. <laughs> But that doesn't explain how you can fly so fast and win so many races. I mean, hmm, you must have some secret. And we use a lot of zoom gas. Zoom gas? What zoom gas? Uh, zoom gas. There's no such thing. Yeah, there's no such thing. That's what Doctor Zoom told us to <gasps> say. I thought so. You, you guys are cheating. Only... There is such a thing as zoom gas. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. No! No! Yeah! Yeah? No? No! Yeah! 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 No! 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 Yeah. Enough, you fool! <laughs> this thing, this monstrosity of an event that was sadly captured on camera to further horrify children of later generations isn't just a short film they showed at the restaurant. No, no. This is a fully funded 60-minute feature about the stars of the popular franchise who enter a race to win $5,000 for a new tractor for a family on the verge of losing their farm. I am not making this up. The whole thing's available on YouTube if you're brave enough to watch it, but unfortunately, what ultimately happened to Chuck is what sadly happens to far too many things aimed toward younger audiences, and he wound up being diagnosed with terminal coolitization. There you go. Bye! Have fun! Looking for a really good way to make sure your kid's fun is safe? Chuck E. Cheese's Kid Check Stand. They play, you relax. Where a kid can be a kid. See, because of changing times and kids' trends changing, oftentimes brands that want to survive, specifically brands aimed directly at younger consumers, are forced to update with the times as well. And what we end up with is, instead of an almost speakeasy-esque mouse with a penchant for playing pop music and eating pizza, a boring old cool skateboarding mouse and eventually a mouse that's been so watered down to appeal to everyone under the age of 10 that he has no personality left whatsoever. Think of it as Poochie, but in real life. See, if you follow the evolution of Chuckles, and that's what we're calling him now, okay, Chuckles, then you can watch him go from a rather interesting character to losing not only his entire outfit, but also his entire persona. He's now nothing more than a mouse in a t-shirt and shorts, a lame far cry from the once complex mascot that we were so blessed to have. We deserved this, really. We didn't respect him enough. And this doesn't stop at Chuckles. No, this happens all the damn time. So many mascots, so many characters retooled simply to fit the age, and thus, in doing so, losing what made them them to begin with. This isn't about nostalgia. This isn't about your childhood being ruined or some bullshit. This is about corporate blandization, the death knell of creativity, the attempt to make a mascot so seemingly tame that they have absolutely nothing interesting about them whatsoever. Sometimes, if your mascot is the everyman, they appeal to no man. And that's what happened to Chuckles who's now just a shell of his former self, still shambling, still holding on to the fame he once grasped so tightly in his paw, trying to stay relevant. Part of me thinks this is why Domino's killed the Noid, because they realized they could not build a brand that would outlast a character whose popularity would die within a few years. I see Chuck E. Cheese's sometimes, often with empty parking lots and the lights dimmed inside, and I think how sad the whole situation is. I think, and perhaps this is me showing my age, how sad it is that we no longer have places like this to convene with our children and spend time together as a family outside the home itself. I mean, they do exist, but family fun places are nowhere near as popular as they once were. 
And perhaps that's simply because in this day and age, families aren't having any fucking fun. Everything is stressful. Everything is hard, especially for children. And that's why it should be important to have places like Chuck E. Cheese to get away from it all, to eat pizza, to play games, to spend time with others, to make memories that can last a lifetime. Places where a kid can be a kid. <laughs>